Hey guys, it's Mike McElane with the MF Trainer. Welcome to another episode of Workout 101. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about plyometric training. When to do it, how to do it, how to incorporate it into a program. What is plyometric training? Well, first and foremost, it's a series of routines or exercises that you do to help develop speed and explosiveness, mostly for an athletic type of a movement or a sport, okay? So a lot of different people out there, especially nowadays, are incorporating plyometric training into a regular resistance training program. They're doing a lot of plyos in between regular resistance training, such as with the weights or with the cables or with the bands that help really develop more of that high intensity interval type of training. When is the best time to incorporate plyometrics into your resistance training program? Well, traditionally, you wanna always do plyometrics at the beginning part of your workout plan. You can do some moderate, low intensity type of plyos, such as jumping jacks, maybe some bounding exercises, some jump squats. But when you're talking about doing things such as a big movement that will result in a lot of power, like a box jump, a broad jump, power skips, things like that, those type of plyos you always wanna do at the beginning part of your workout. Why? Because the body produces a lot of energy doing those type of movements. You don't want to do those once the body's already pre-exhausted from a regular resistance training program. You're gonna get the most out of your muscles, especially the muscles that allow you to perform those speed and powerful movements, which are the type 2B fast switch muscle fibers, which are the muscles that grow the biggest and the strongest. Your body's ability to recruit those muscle fibers happen in that first energy system or that first cycle of energy expenditure, okay? And that is at the beginning part of a workout. So the next time that you wanna incorporate plows into your program, make sure you do it at the beginning part, then get into a regular resistance training program. I hope this little tip helped. Until next time, this is Mike Mackerling with the MF Trainer. Talk to you soon.